spring of 2019. There were more than 200,000 confirmed cases in the first three months. As of today, authorities confirm more than 2.7 million cases in New York City. The actual number of cases is likely much higher. Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone because those are men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. <laughs> And um, pretty much, as you can see, you know, I'm doing a screen recording. It's 317. I pretty much just woke up out of my sleep. And, um, you know, the spirit is just on me to do a video, you know. And um, what people don't realize is the fact that, yeah, they may have um, been going easy as far as, like, the, the uh, mandates of, like, the mass concerning the C-19 pandemic, but we're still in a pandemic and the scriptures it talks about pestilences it talks about different disease outbreaks that will happen according to the scriptures according to end time prophecy so i'm going to read this um this transcript because as you can see i started it at 20 seconds because you know certain key words if you allow it to play a video you end up getting a strike, and then they'll take your channel down. Then you got to start from scratch, you know? So I'm just going to read the um, transcript. So it says, since the World Health Organization first called the outbreak of the C-19 pandemic, and three years later, in the virus, is claimed nearly 7 million lives. It still kills hundreds of people around the world every day. So this thing is still going on. New York City was once the US epic center of the pandemic back in the spring of 2019. There were more than 200,000 confirmed cases in the first three months. As of today, authorities confirmed 2.7 million cases in. All right, so this thing is still going on. So um, let's read the um, scriptures, but pestilence, right? A fatal epidemic disease, especially bubonic plague. And then they give you the different synonyms, such as disease, um, infection, sickness, right? Pandemic, so forth and so on. So these things are recorded in the scriptures. Now, this is Second Ezra 15 of verse 49. It says, I will send plagues upon thee. Now, this is what's going to happen and is happening to Babylon the Great, which is America, according to the Bible, right? The Lord is going to send widowhood. That's why you got scriptures like Isaiah 4 and 1, all right? You're going to have a lot of these women out here. They're going to lose their husbands because all hell is going to break loose. Crime is going to go up. Inflation is going to turn to hyperinflation. You know, people is going to kill one another. Scriptures talk about that. The love of many is going to wax cold. So a lot of these women you know they're going to lose their husbands because the only ones that's going to survive this time period of jacob's trouble which involves everything that i'm reading right here <clears throat> excuse me everything that i'm reading right here all right the ones that's going to survive is the elect of the nation of israel the believers all right so widowhood so women are going to lose their husbands it says poverty you know that's what's coming to america and the whole entire world all right, a global economic collapse. Your status in society, you're going to lose it. All right. So it says widowhood, poverty, right? Because also the scriptures, it prophesies about the hour of temptation, which is the time period where the Most High threw the Edomites, which are the so called white men and sea line, beginning with the central bakers on down. They're going to make this chip mandatory. But before they do that, they have to set up the image of the beast, which is this cashless digital society, as well as that one world currency, which is looking like the CBDC, which stands for Central Bank Digital Currency. All right. 
because these RFID chip implants, when it's made mandatory, the digital currency is going to be on it. So this is what the Edomites are currently doing right now before they made this mandatory. All right. So this is coming. So you're not going to be able to buy or sell when that time period comes, whether it's essential things or non-essential things. So it says widowhood, poverty, right? Because people also are going to lose their jobs. You have a lot of store closures that's going on, right? And then it says famine. So you're going to have two types of famines. You're going to have the traditional famine, which is a lack of resources, a lack of food supply, you know, a lack of water supply, you know, essential things that you need for your daily survival and weekly survival, right? And then also, pursuing the Amos, the eighth chapter, verses 11 through 12, you're going to have a famine of the word because the internet is not going to be around forever, all right? The Lord is going to withdraw his prophets from off of the streets. It says sword. The sword is referring to martial law, all right? Because as you can see, a lot of police officers are starting to quit their jobs. You know, um, a day or two ago, I was actually watching Vice News, and I was watching um, a documentary on Oakland, you know, East Oakland, and it's crazy over there, you know? They don't have cops really over there. You got people speeding in the street. They pretty much doing whatever they want to do. That's why Oakland pretty much is, is worse than Chicago. It's worse than Brooklyn, you know? Places like um like Oakland, you know, Louisiana, certain parts, you know, those are like the worst places to live in in America, all right? So they're going to have to invoke martial law because of a lack of police officers that's quitting their jobs, right? So it says famine, sword, and pestilence, right? And pestilence is going into what? The different disease outbreaks over the years. It seems like every four years, there's a new disease outbreak, all right? But the main one is the C-19. So it says to waste thy houses with destruction and death. And why is the Most High doing that? To punish the wicked that's on the planet Earth. Now let's get this. This is Matthew chapter 24 and verse 3, getting to the point. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples, right, his 12 disciples, that later on became apostles, came unto him privately saying, so this is a private discussion between Yahweh Shai and his 12 disciples that he chose. It says, tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign? Yeah, what shall be the sign of thy coming? and of the end of the world so first let's deal with sign right so we go into this word sign the word there is Simeon, right or simeon and it says what a sign mark token that by which a person or thing is distinguished from others and is known so you know when it's just a regular event and you know when it's a major prophecy or prophecies that's coming to pass because ultimately everything is prophecy, right? Everything is the will of the Lord, no matter what it is. It says a sign, prodigy, um, parton, i.e., an unusual occurrence, transcending the common course of nature, like droughts and stuff like that, right? Um, places where the weather is starting to switch up. You know, it's it's snowing in Egypt. You know, different vir um, various videos you see where it's like bizarre of what's going on, right? It says, of oh, signs pertaining remarkable events soon to happen. Prophecies, right? Of miracles and wonders by which the Most High authenticates the men sent by him, a.k.a. his prophets. And who are his prophets in his lifetime? The men of Great Millstone beginning with the apostles and elders and then the younger brothers like myself of Great Millstone. It says, or by which men prove that the cause they are pleading is the most high. So we're telling you people, all these current events that's happening, that's the will of the most high. All right. And if you Israelites, which are you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, if you don't repent while the doors of mercy is open, you're going to be destroyed during Jacob's trouble or possibly even before that, right? 
So these signs is talking about what? End time prophecies, right? Which shall be the sign of thy coming? Because Yahweh Shai, he's going to make his second return as Yahweh Shai, right? And, and how is he going to do that? By the way of the so-called UFOs to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel and to establish the kingdom of heaven on earth as prophesied. So it says, end of the end of the world, meaning the end of this present age, going back to the word eon. Who's ruling in this present age? Second Ezra 6 and 9. The Edomites, all right, which is the so-called white man in Selah. So that's another major sign or major prophecy that the Edomites, they would be ruling, all right? They would be the heathen nation that would be ruling when Yahweh Shai comes back. That's one of the nations he's going to take out of power, the chief nation. So it says, and Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you, because you have a lot of false prophets out here. All right, you got guys that's cops. The information came out on them. I'm not going to say no names. These guys are detectives. All right, even the colors that they wear, it goes back to uh, Greek fraternities and Masonic colors. And even on, you know, sports entertainment like ESPN, you know, you had guys like Nate. They pretty much indirectly got exposed. All right. But that guy named um, Jason something, I forget his last name. But he pretty much said, and you can search this up. This is public information. I'm not making this up. You can go on Google, and he actually um, talked about that. You go on um, YouTube, you can find a clip, all right? He said the purple, it goes back to a Greek fraternity. So a lot of these dudes is agent provocateurs. A lot of them is um, spies. A lot of them sold out. That's why they teach false doctrine. That's why they got such a big following. That's why the so-called white man, the Edomites, they put, you know, certain groups at the forefront because they're using these groups to what? Trap the Israelites up in false doctrine. It's like a web, right? So take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, right? Just because a guy says the name Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, that don't automatically mean that you are part of the elect. Because it's all about your actions, you know. You prove your faith through your works, which is your actions, you know. You try to be charitable to the best of your abilities. You try to be as diligent as possible. You try to stay um, fervent in prayer. And ultimately, you spread the correct doctrine and gospel. And when you look at all the Hebrew Israelite camps, what camp is doing that? Great Millstone, mainly. All right, and the men of like mind that teach the same exact doctrine as us, right? For many shall come in my name, right? Because the scriptures talk about that, Matthew the seventh chapter. You know, just because you say Lord, Lord, which is Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, that don't mean you're a part of the elect. The ones that's a part of the elect is going to endure unto the end, and before enduring unto the end, they will be teaching the correct um thing, right? saying i am hamashiach or anointed by the lord right and shall deceive many and that's what a lot of these dudes is doing you know it says and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars like the conflict between ukraine and russia the conflict between iran and the state of israel you know america getting thrown in the mix america versus um russia and iran you know, all these things is happening because it's end time prophecy. The Bible describes World War Three would take place, that three world wars would happen on the earth. Right. So all these things we're seeing is leading up to that buildup of Babylon the Great being destroyed by thermonuclear missiles and the elect being delivered from this destruction before it takes place. Right. So it says, rumors of war, see that you be not troubled. So don't be troubled. For all these things must come to pass, the end time prophecies, right? Going back to Matthew 5 and 18. These things have to come to pass before who the world ignorantly calls, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, which his true name is Yahweh Shai, comes back. Because he's not going to come back unless these prophecies happen. All right? For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. 
because there's still more prophecies that have to occur, such as Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation, right? The mark of the beast being made uh, mandatory, you know, the so-called white man coming down with great wrath, the FEMA camps, martial law, crime going up, right? The gospel being spread and then the end coming, right? For nation shall rise against nation. That's what you're seeing. And kingdom against kingdom, same thing. And there shall be famines, right? And pestilences. There you go, all right? You got all these different disease outbreaks that are taking place. It says, and that's why at the World Economic Forum, they have these phrases such as great global reset, right? Because they use these bioengineered um, pandemics to bring in more stricter control over the masses, all right? And they use these pandemics to reshape society according to their new world order agenda, right? It says the pestilences, the earthquakes, there's earthquakes every day in diverse places. So all around the world, you know, you're always going to see that an earthquake is taking place. And these are signs that Yahweh Shai first gave his 12 disciples. All right. So Yahweh Shai, he's getting ready to come back soon. It says all these, right, all these things that will be happening simultaneously at the same time, right? All these are the beginning of sorrows because it's still more that has to happen. But this is the beginning. This is how we know we're at the end. All right? Now let's get this. Jeremiah 28 and 8. And the whole chapter of Jeremiah 28 is dealing with Jeremiah, you know, a righteous prophet ordained from the womb by the heavenly father Yahweh. Right? And then you had this false prophet, Hananiah, you know, which was teaching lies and deceit, saying that, you know, prophesying things that wasn't through the spirit of the Lord. It was out of his own heart. And the Lord ended up killing him for that, just like he's going to do these false prophets. All right. Because these dudes, they wolves in sheep clothing. Yeah, they might have, you know, a nice afro, you know, a big beard, may go back to one west, but... You know, not all of them is righteous. The ones that's righteous is who? The apostles of Great Millstone. Beginning with Apostle Tahar, you know, Apostle Elder Gabor, you know, Apostle Rakab, Apostle Ramlob, the um, what brothers call the CT elders, right? The elders on down, right? The prophets that have been before me, this is Jeremiah, right? He's giving you an example of how a prophet is supposed to be. This is how you can identify a true prophet of the Lord, right? The prophets that have been before me. So he's giving you examples. And before thee of old, right? Before him. Prophesied. When you prophesy, you're saying something before it actually takes place. Before it becomes current events, right? Both against many countries. Prophets ain't liked. Prophets prophesy with doom. All right. A prophet don't care about being accepted by the world or people. You know. It says, but against many countries. So prophets give the warning before the heavenly father brings his judgment. It says both against many countries. You look at all the ancient empires up until right now. The Lord always sent his prophets. All right. He always raised his prophets up within enemy territories before that empire is down for. All right? It says, and against great kingdoms. America is a great kingdom. It's the greatest kingdom of war. This is what we prophesying about, World War Three, Right? It's going to be fought by thermonuclear missiles. And the end result of that is Babylon the Great being destroyed, as well as the state of Israel. But the state of Israel is going to be... Um, the land of Israel is going to be built back up by the heathen. That's in Isaiah 60. It says, and of evil. You know, the times of evil is coming. The evil days, Jacob's trouble, right? It says, and of pestilence. So we've been telling you that all these things was going to happen before it took place. So now let me end it with this. This is 2nd Ezra 8 and 50. For many great miseries 
shall be done to them, right? Unbelieving Israelites, as well as you heathen. It says, for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time, we're in the latter time, all right, shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. And who do you have to blame for that? The chief nation that's in power, which is the Edomites. They allow these people to worship whatever um, God they want to worship, believe in any philosophy they want to um, believe in, right? They don't implement the law, statutes, and commandments. So now you got feminism at an all-time high. These people is westernized. You know, it's, it's spreading like a disease, right? I'm going to read it one more time. You know, you got the Sodomites. That agenda is just running rampant through the earth. There's a lot of wickedness going on. Why? Because of the Edomites. Second Ezra 8 and 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. So because you don't have the law, statutes, and commandments as the law of the land, you have all this wickedness going on. And this is why... The Heavenly Father is going to destroy the wicked, all right? The wicked being the Edomites first and foremost, as well as wicked Israelites and wicked individuals as a whole. That's not a part of the elect. So Lord willing, you was edified by this lesson. Shalom.